Studying politics and international relations means learning about and critically engaging with a wide range of ideas, institutions and practices that shape people's lives across the globe. As part of these disciplines, you can explore the theoretical and conceptual building blocks behind how we organise our lives collectively in an increasingly interconnected world. Importantly, in gaining these insights and in honing your own analytical tools, you can contribute to crucial work to tackle today's global challenges, from climate change and war to poverty and pandemics. We will introduce you to the key ideas that drive political movements, parties, institutions and geopolitical struggles. You will be equipped to understand the political and social consequences of forces such as conflict, colonialism and globalisation. You will gain a strong grounding in the theories that help us make sense of how the world is and of how we might want it to be, from moral and ethical philosophy to feminist and post-colonial theory. You can also explore why and how diverse practices continue to shape our world, from intelligence, nuclear politics, genocide and transnational justice, to public, foreign, constitutional and intergovernmental policy. Right at the heart of our teaching is the research that we do. This means that our lecturers are teaching in their area of interest and expertise. And we, as academics, are very enthusiastic about sharing and exploring these ideas with our students. The modules, lectures and seminars we design are informed by the latest research and theoretical thinking. And we can work with the students to analyse developments in real time. So, we can explore questions such as how can we understand the different responses to the coronavirus pandemic in Wales, Scotland, England and Northern Ireland? How did the World Cup in Qatar shape the mobilities and immobilities of migrant workers to the Middle East? What does the global clothing industry tell us about the role of the global north in poverty and political instability in the global south? You will also find that many academics are involved in policy activity. We are regularly invited to provide evidence to parliamentary committees at Westminster or closer to home at Seneth Cymru, which is the Welsh Parliament. We're asked to give expert advice to governments in the UK and further afield, and think tanks working at the European and international levels. Our academics are active across a really diverse range of organisations and levels of governance. And also, it's not uncommon to switch on the radio or TV or download a podcast and hear them sharing insights from their research, again engaging in debates and discussions from the local level through to the international level. One of the really unique features of studying politics and international relations here is that Cardiff is, of course, the capital city of Wales, and therefore it's home to many different institutions and bodies that are part of the Welsh political system. We have Welsh Government, the Senate, and a range of civil society organisations and think tanks right on our doorstep. So there are many opportunities for students to see and experience politics in action. This is not only significant for those interested in sub-state territorial politics, but because the Welsh political system feeds into politics and governance at UK, European and international levels, our situation here really helps to bring that multi-level dimension of politics further to life. The Department of Politics and International Relations is a community of staff and students. Beyond teaching, we provide opportunities for students to really engage with the academics and the research environment in the school. We hold regular research evenings, where students and staff are invited to hear the latest research from a fellow academic and everyone is encouraged to participate in discussion and debate. Staff contribute to the Departmental Film Club panel. A few years ago, for example, I joined a panel of academics to discuss the film Knock Down the House in advance of the 2020 US elections. The comments from our students were fascinating and really opened up the range of issues we explored together. There are other student events organised around key political moments or themes such as Brexit, the Senate elections, the UK general elections, or Ireland and Northern Ireland. And again, the questions and comments from our students bring such a richness to exchange. All of this emphasises the importance we attach to the community in the department. 
Right from the beginning of a degree, we want to equip you to be able to make real decisions about your future. At the end of your degree, we want you to have a really firm understanding of and an ability to critically engage with key themes within politics and international relations. And we also want you to have developed skills that you can take outside academia into your profession or other life pursuits, or perhaps onwards into further academic study through a master's degree and maybe a PhD. This includes the ability to think critically, to synthesize data, undertake high quality analysis and to organize and clearly present an argument. Naturally, our students develop skills through the course of their modules, but also by topping up with a range of focused skills training that is available, covering, for example, essay writing and referencing, and which I always encourage students to make the most of. There is a wealth of expert careers advice available as well, including a specialist advisor in law and politics and various careers talks. We also host talks on master's courses with former students to give you, as an undergraduate student, some direct feedback on experiences. Of course, as we are based in the capital city of Wales, there are many opportunities to gain experience in one of the various governmental organisations, charities and think tanks which have Cardiff as their home. We have a placement module where students actually work within an organisation that plays a key role in Welsh governance, so they can engage with the practical side of politics. And in parallel, Various individuals who have real-world experience of working in policy and politics lead seminars for the students on the module. Beyond this, students are free to secure their own placements or internships. But it's useful to remember that support is available to help pin down that opportunity. Students at Cardiff are able to really tailor their university experience, which will be unique for every student. So, for some of you, that could mean studying abroad for a semester or a year, in Europe, the USA or Australia. For others, it will mean involvement in the politics society. We understand that you and other prospective students are motivated to study politics and international relations for a range of different reasons, and will also go on to pursue different career and life paths. We are confident that studying with us can be an intellectually stimulating and enriching experience where you will be able to really think, develop new ideas and challenge sometimes dominant understandings or ways of seeing the world. And also that we can support you to explore the really wonderful range of possibilities that are open to you beyond your degree. <laughs>